Red flag alert measures the corporate distress for companies that have been trading for over 12 months. Significant problems are those companies with CCJs of less than £5,000 and critical problems are those companies with CCJs of more than £5,000 or winding up petition related action. In quarter 4 2012 we saw a 12% decrease in combined distress in UK compared to quarter 3 2012. There was an improvement in the financial health within the construction and real estate sectors compared to a rapid deterioration in the financial health of consumer facing sectors such as retail, bars and restaurants and leisure. We have seen a reduction of 34% within the construction sector and an enormous reduction of 57% within the real estate sector. This improvement in the financial health of construction reflects firms that have survived the crisis, benefiting from improved margins at a reduced cost base. The real estate sector has seen a surge in buy to let in 2012, which has been driven by a clear revival in the financial health of property management, which is a high proportion of this sector. However, we are seeing a clear deterioration in the financial health of consumer facing sectors, which is a stark contrast compared to the improvements across many other sectors. Bars and restaurants are reporting an increase of 48%, followed by general retail 34%, food retail 30% and leisure 30%. This increase in financial distress across the consumer facing sector shows the scale of challenges that the consumer economy is now facing. In the final quarter of 2012, HMRC winding up petition related action almost halved compared to quarter 4 2011, which was bucking the trend in 2012 as HMRC winds up petition related action was up 23%. We've also seen a reduction in the number and value of CCJs in quarter four, which shows that more businesses are going into insolvency process as a result of fewer CCJs. The 12% decrease in distress within the UK is a welcome sign that some parts of the economy are moving back towards improved financial health. However, the situation remains fragile with a large number of companies struggling to survive, let alone face the working capital funding challenges of a recovery.